Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to go over how to enable ReadyBoost in Windows 10. Uh, Greg Schultz back in 2016 was wondering whether or not it was still an effective tool, and w whether or not it is depends on the capabilities of your computer. Um, basically what ReadyBoost is, is it's using an external flash-based memory, like an, a USB drive or an SD card of some kind, to uh, supplement the cache uh, speed and capabilities of Windows hard drive. So, uh, you know, whether or not you can benefit from it really depends on the speed of your your hard disk. If it's an old platter-based hard disk, you're probably going to see more benefit out of it than if you have an S or an uh, solid-state disk. Which uh, Windows, if you have a solid-state disk running your OS, Windows is basically going to tell you, hey, uh, I I can't I can't get you any boost from Ready Boost, so we're not going to allow you to enable it. So you might see that if you're going through these steps as detailed uh, by Greg down in his article here. You might see something like this. ReadyBoost is not enabled in this computer because the system disk is fast enough that ReadyBoost won't provide a benefit. Uh, in this case, I'm using an older Windows 8 PC to try this out on that has a slow hard drive. So hopefully it will give me some, uh, some benefit. Um, so the steps in Windows 8 are identical to Windows 10. If you've used both OSs, uh, or even if you skipped Windows 8, uh, you're not going to really see much of a difference here. So, uh, first things first, plug in a flash drive. I've done that here. You can see USB-1 is plugged in here. Right-click on that drive and click on Properties. And then click on the ReadyBoost tab. And you'll see this come up. If, if it doesn't come up at first, uh, it's because you've just inserted the disk and uh, Windows needs to scan it to make sure that it's usable for ReadyBoost. Uh, drives that are smaller than, I think, 256 megabytes or maybe even a gigabyte um, aren't usable uh, as ReadyBoost disks. So if it tells you it's not, it's probably because it's too small or too slow. So uh, you can choose to use the device, but only dedicate a certain amount of space to it, to the ReadyBoost cache. Um, that that's gonna make ReadyBoost less effective because there might be reads of multiple kinds going on from that disk. So your best bet is just to say dedicate this device to ReadyBoost, and the ReadyBoost cache will use the entirety of the available space on the USB drive. Click Apply, and it will take a second to turn it on, and then just click OK, and you'll see ReadyBoost.sf cache in the root of the uh, the drive's directory. That's that's it. It's now enabled. And you can, you know, you can hopefully see some performance boost from it. If you ever want to disable it, you can go back to properties, click on ReadyBoost, and say, do not use this device, and then apply that change. And then you can uh, either delete the cache if Windows doesn't automatically delete it, and just unplug the drive and use it for whatever other purposes you need. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to subscribe to our Microsoft Weekly Newsletter for more tips and tricks just like this one.